Hi, this is Dennis Barnes, and I'll be introducing the exciting new features for SOLIDWORKS routing, including the enhancements to coverings for pipes and tubes, creating custom coverings, and saving covering favorites. There's also the ability to use predefined sketches in the auto route feature of wiring and harnesses, and the flexibility to automatically rescale drawing views for electrical routes. In this assembly, outer protection is essential because there are a variety of hydraulic hoses holding very high pressures and exposed to extreme conditions. Modeling layers directly inside the route and storing groups of layers as favorites to be used in other projects can be done by editing the desired route. Then right-clicking on the route segment and selecting the Add Edit, Covering, then Covering. Apply either an Install Layer or create a custom layer by using the SOLIDWORKS Materials Library. Once the desired material is selected, input the layer thickness, then apply it to the route. To add additional layers, use the same approach. To rearrange the layers, simply use the arrows to the right of the list to move them up or down. Use the Favorites option in the Covering Property Manager to save the group as Vermeer. Exit the route to observe the increase in the diameter of the tubes and the appearances of the coverings. Reusing the covering combination is done easily by assigning it to these four additional hoses. Edit the existing route, start the coverings command, then select the hoses, and use the group named Vermeer from the Favorites dropdown. The appearance and diameter of the coverings are applied. This saves time by not having to remember the order or thickness of each material layer. Showing the right thickness for coverings will prevent any unexpected interferences during installation and accountability in the total cost of manufacturing. The auto route functionality is a favorite feature with many routing designers. It saves a tremendous amount of time and effort and can be used with electrical, tubing, and pipe routes. With electrical routing components and connection points established with a from to list, a 3D sketch can drive the route using guidelines to follow this path and neatly organize the wires, cables, and harnesses. This 3D sketch is created at the main assembly level and can use in-context geometry such as converted entities to ensure the wires and cables avoid potential interferences. With one click, a fully compliant route that's consistent, faster to apply, and much less error prone is created. This is a huge time saver, especially for large assemblies. When detailing a flattened electrical route, it's often necessary to adjust the size of the drawing. There may be many tables, annotations, and dimensions that will be overcrowded in the drawing sheet. This is often done by adjusting the sheet format to a different size then rescaling the views, tables, and annotations. When switching to a different sheet format, the drawing maintains the proper size and ratio of all views, tables, and annotations. Everything shifts proportionately with only the need to move some items around to adjust the new sheet size, but without having to modify the sheet scale or views. This means greater flexibility and consistency in documentation no matter what sheet size the project requires. With SOLIDWORKS 2026, these new routing features and enhancements are designed to save time, reduce errors, and keep designs aligned with real-world requirements.